Hey kiddos, it's Miss Ramsey. We're going to go ahead and do a few of each kind of problem that you're going to see on your chapter 6 test, which is going to be tomorrow. Um, I know I'm not there, but hopefully you will find this helpful. We've been spending a lot of days reviewing, so we're going to go ahead and move forward with having the test tomorrow. Um, we're going to do eight problems. Feel free to skip ahead, skip the ones you know how to do. Feel free to replay this multiple times, whatever you need to do to help you get ready for this test. Remember, this is a unit test, 100 points. So the first thing that we need to be able to do is to solve a simple inequality. That just means solve it just like if it was an equation. We want to just pretend that that's an equal sign, and then usually you're going to have to graph after this. Looking at number one, this is a greater than symbol, and this is where we're going to do our work. If I want the x by itself, that means I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And so we are left with x is greater than 12. That's it. That would be our answer. If we were to graph this, we would be at 12 with an open circle, because that does not have a line underneath it. It's not equal to. Greater than means bigger than 12, so your shading would go this direction. Okay, Number two, um, this one you have to watch out for a couple different things. There's more than one step here. So here's our balancing line. We have to start by subtracting 5. And again, the mistake a lot of us are making is to add 5 because we see this minus here. But that minus belongs to the 2, not the 5. The 5 is positive, so to get rid of it, we need to subtract. So now I have negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 22. And now we're going to divide, but here's the rule we have to make sure that we remember when we solve these problems. Anytime you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to switch the direction of the inequality sign. So since this right now is a less than or equal to, we're going to change it to be greater than or equal to, and we get positive 11. If I were to graph this one, it would have a solid circle at 11 because this one does have the line underneath. And again, since it's greater than, we're going to go the other way. Okay, so that is just basic solving simple inequalities. Make sure you pay attention. If you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to switch that sign. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples of compound inequalities. This is an example of an AND equation. We have two symbols in the exact same uh, inequality. So that's how we know that this is an AND. We always start by looking at the middle, but we have two balancing bars in this one. So I'm trying to get the x by itself, so we're going to subtract 6. Never let these outside numbers determine what your step is going to be. Your step always has to come from the inside here. If I subtract 6 from the inside, that means I also have to subtract 6 from both of the outside positions. And so I now have negative 10 is less than or equal to 2x is less than 8. And the last step now, again, go back to the middle. I have a 2x. I want to get the x by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2 in all three spots. So our final answer is negative 5 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4. That would be our solution. This is an and. Oops, I'm sorry. This one should not have an equal to on it. Now when we graph this, our x is in between these two values. So we're going to have two spots on our graph positive 4 and negative 5. At negative 5, it's an equal to, so I want a solid circle. But at positive 4, it's not, so I want an open circle. And then because this is an and, we're going to shade in between. Okay? You can remember to shade between because our x is between the two numbers. The other option is an or, so let's look at one of those. This is all the same problem even though there are two different inequalities that we have to solve here. So, if I want to solve an or, I'm just going to do the two problems one at a time. I'll start by adding 3. So, 
x is less than negative 2, and we're done on that one. Now we have to go over here and do the second one. I would subtract 1 from both sides. That gives me 2x is greater than 8, and I'm going to divide by 2. 2 is positive, so I do not need to change the sign, and I get x is greater than 4. Now remember that that word or is just as much a part of this solution as anything else. So when we write our final answer, you need to make sure, oops, that's really tiny. You need to make sure that you write out the whole thing. X is less than negative 2 or X is greater than 4. That whole thing in red there is your solution. When we graph these, it's going to look a little bit different. These are both going to be open circles. Here's negative 2. Less than would be to the left, so I'm going to shade this way. But then at positive 4, open circle again, but this time I want greater than, so that would be this way. And so since we have two separate inequalities, we have two separate regions on the graph. You're either getting bigger or you're getting smaller. You can't do both of those things at the same time. Okay? So those are both... Uh, inequalities, just straightforward inequalities, solve them straight through. We looked at simple inequalities where you just have to do one, and then we looked at compound inequalities, which is your and or your or.